Hi guys. Okay, so this is a completely different type of video. The weather is very finicky today. My hair is gonna look like a mess. You can barely see my face, but I wanted to show you guys every step of what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna take an older canvas that Audrey had drawn on like a while ago. Um, and it looks like this. And I made sure, I keep all her paintings she does, but like this one, she had just used pencil. So I made sure with her first, it was okay to use this, but I'm actually making her a new one and just like changing it for her room. So what I'm gonna do is change this into a tie-dye background with guy diamond and tiny diamond on it. So it's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna bring you guys on the stream with me. The first step is going to be spray painting this canvas. I wanna make a nice tie-dye background. So that's why we're outside. Um, but it's pretty simple. Now, uh, I'm gonna have to piece together parts of this video and there's gonna be parts obviously where I'm gonna speed it up. I'm not gonna make you guys have to sit and watch how long it actually takes. Um, but just like a disclosure, like I'm gonna, disclosure, ooh. Um, basically, I'm gonna show you guys like how to do a transfer with like, um, with the image itself, which is like my favorite thing to do. One of my best friends taught me how to do it. Um, and like it helps so much with even just like trying to learn how to draw if you're new and it makes it so much fun my daughter even knows how to do it i'll show you guys some of her art in a different video but i am going to cut now to show you guys what spray painting looks like and then we'll be back with what i'm going to do with the guy diamond because i'm going to have to spray paint the canvas first let me see i'll just show you guys like this i just spray paint the canvas first and there's all the colors i'm going to use for the like rainbow like background um, over that that has to sit and dry then and then I'm gonna start guy diamond and tiny diamond on a piece of poster board which I'm then going to transfer that image once it's fi like finished I almost said complete and finished and it almost said a like really weird bad sounding word but anyway um I'm gonna put that on this and then that will be the finished product so I'm super excited. I've been wanting to make a video like this for a while. The weather is very eh today. It was supposed to rain all day, but we had a little bit of sunshine. So I decided why not, since I can go out and spray paint, I'm gonna do this for you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy this. So let's cut to the spray painting. okay so this is what i'm working with right now all right my spray paint i will put the clip in obviously we'll clips there's multiple it's gonna take me a while to edit but it's worth it um my purple was not working nor was my teal so we had to improvise this is the one dot of purple i could get out like in there <laughs> but um i just went back over with pink and like this will all be hidden i just needed the base color for tie-dye so i'm pretty happy with that um, so next, I'm just going to start doing, showing you guys how to transfer the image. Um, I guess I'll show you guys very quickly before I start. I don't want to make this video too long, but it's going to look like, where is it? I hit it. Oh, there it is. It's going to look like this. So I'm so excited. I have everything set up right here so I can show you guys the steps I do in order to get it onto the canvas. Well, first we're going to put this on poster board, then get the poster board to stick to the canvas. So next step, we'll just be going through all the shading and stuff I'll have to do. I will try, I will also put um, like steps or at least I'll try to, I'll figure it out. I can do it. All right, let me start with the guy diamond and tiny guy guys. Okay, so we have the canvas done and it's dried. 
but with the guy diamond audrey is asleep now so i can talk about it i'm going to actually cut him out um and lose all of this stuff in the background and what i'm going to do is i print this other sheet here um, and there's some of her favorite trolls. She loves that this was Kelly Clarkson's voice in the movie. So I'm going to put this and put these trolls around them on here. Um, now I'm going to show you guys how to do that by doing transfer. So what I'm going to officially, essentially, sorry, do is get both of these onto this poster board here. Then cut this poster board out. Put the poster board on here with, let me grab my art supplies, with this Mod Podge I have here. And I also have finishing, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. I also have finishing spray, but this will typically keep it down. Now, luckily, since I'm gonna use the poster board, I have used like um, sketching paper before that I've drawn on and then try to transfer it on and it just dried all wrinkled up. That's why I'm gonna use a thicker th poster board. But so the next few things um, I'm going to be doing, I am going to record, <laughs> there's my purse, but from up here with my phone as I'm doing it, um, step by step and fast forward. So it's not going to be it forever, but I am going to show you guys how to transfer. And that is, I'm just going to do part of it while I'm talking in the video, but any outline, since I'm not doing this, you do not need to do that. But essentially anything like in here, you're going to want to shade over any lines you're going to need. Um, I will keep doing this in the rest of the video, so I'm not shaking my phone around. But I just want to give you guys an idea. And then with these, I'm going to do the same exact thing. And then I will stop after I get this all done and they're good and they're like positioned onto the poster board. I'll do one more clip of me talking of what I'm going to do. And then I will show you guys the finished product. All right.
started to outline it, but I am going to go through and you just outline the parts you need with a pencil and it will transfer. Like right here, I did some of it so far, just to give you guys an idea, like there's the tiny diamond started and guy diamond's face. I'm going to do all of these and fast forward through and show you guys. I did change my scenery to be more comfortable, but after I finish this, I will cut them out. Well, I'll do a reveal with them off and then I will cut them out after we get them colored. All right. Um, I did speed up part of it, but I wanted to not make the video too long. Um, so I'm going to show you guys. Sorry, this part is a little blurry. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys what I have 
them looking like so far without color. Okay, so the first one, like this. Let's see how mine looks. Voila. Oops, okay, I'm gonna have to fix that tape. But, there we go. As I said though, with the poster board, like we're gonna be cutting these out. So there's those two side by side, pretty close. And I'll touch them up when I color them too. This one. Oh wow, I'm shocked actually how good that came out. So there's those two side by side. And then this one. I am nervous on how this mirror turned out. The cowboy hat came out good. <laughs> Let's see about the rest. Oh my gosh, I'm really happy with that. This one was a little different. Oh, I tore a stencil. But here's a side by side shot of these. Pretty good. And then this one. Let me prop this up better. There we go. This one. Oh, wow. That one looks pretty good, too. So there's those two. And then we have Queen Poppy. I don't know how her hair will turn out with this, but we'll see. Oh, it's actually not bad. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to have to fix her eyes. I didn't want to overemphasize in the... Okay, so that one's really good. Queen Poppy. And here is Tiny Diamond and Guy Diamond, which I'm excited. Oh, wait. One behind. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'll take this stuck. I'm going to have to do him separately. Okay. Let's do Tiny Diamond and Guy Diamond. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. And that is pretty close, I think. I'm Tiny Diamond too. I left his eyes blank so I could go through detail. So, all of them together. Let's just get a shot of what this looks like. All of them together. This is crazy. Oh my goodness. So much shape everywhere. they will all be on the poster and i'm gonna add color too um i am gonna keep that part of surprise though so i'm gonna get them colored and cut out and onto the poster board and show you guys the finished product all right guys i'm so excited to show you how this turns out i hope this video is interesting to you guys as well all right i will show you guys the end product as soon as i am so i was going to make the process of me coloring each troll in part of the video. Here is Queen Poppy finished. Um, well, not finished completely. Um, so I want to explain this quick so it doesn't seem like I'm just jumping around. I did not want to make this video too long. Um, and the title, I, I did say, like, paint. I'm going to paint over this with different things. So I am starting on this one. I had started this one a little bit, testing out the colors. It's just, this is gonna take me quite a bit to get the base colors. I wanted to show you guys the stuff I'm using though in order to make it. And there's the colors I'm trying to match perfectly, which I think I've done pretty well with some of them. Well, most of them, well, a few I've been able to figure out. I've been using these watercolor pencils and normal color pencils, they're an artist loss. Um, these, color sharp um they're actually like the same brand as crazy art but they are amazing comparison sharp like to sharpie i've been using a lot of sharpies though as well um they're all over here and then a bunch of just anonymous like things just to make everything work but when i am going to start painting over this um i will show you guys like everything i'm gonna get these once they're colored though i will cut them out like i'm not gonna be able to cut obviously right here and stuff but i'm gonna cut around them and then show you guys how i get them onto the canvas here um that's a pretty easy part but i will show you guys the finished product too but i just want to make this video quick to tell you i will be showing you guys everything i just did not want to make this video too long. so this is going to be the last video where i'm just talking about what i'm going to do 
um i did get all of them colored now not the best and not completely this is all uneven um i have to fix her up plus her pants and her hat are white so i'm waiting um this is my favorite then i got all of them done and i'm really proud of queen barb i'm impressed that i could pull that off but what i'm going to do now is mod podge them onto this canvas before i paint over them and i'm probably i'll show you guys the order i'm planning on doing i'm gonna put her down there up here let's keep her here kind of yeah there we go so we'll have queen poppy and then we'll have this little guy perfect all right so i might wiggle them around a bit but there we go with all the trolls on there. They're not all finished yet. But this is the last step. Uh, here's the Mod Podge. What I'm going to do is apply it to the backs because sometimes Mod Podge will smear. If you, um, with acrylic paint, you should be fine. But with the Sharpie or anything else, I use color pencil, Sharpies, paint in some areas. So I've used a lot of different products. Um, I'm going to put it on the back and get them on there. And I'm going to zoom through me just adding the last touches of everything. And then show you guys the finished product. Thank you guys so much if you're still watching. I appreciate it so, so, so much. All right, I hope well, you guys enjoyed. I got enjoyed. them all modge podged onto the poster. And I'm so, so, so excited. So this is what we're looking at. Now, how this was all uneven, I am going to go on and put some glitter and other things. And I'm going to show you guys the finished product. The best part. And thank you guys, seriously, again, I have worked so hard on this and I appreciate it more than I can tell you if you are still watching this. All right, guys, I will be back shortly with the finished okay, product. So this is the finished product. Now, people have, I had a few people, well, my friends asked me why I did them on white. Now, typically I would have cut it out more. Um, I might actually do that still, but I, this video in itself took three whole days for me to make, just to make this step-by-step -step with editing and also letting everything dry and cutting everything out. Um, I did go ahead and accent each one. Like I finally got this one's pants on. Her face is a little messed up. I might fix that. But otherwise, I'm very happy with each one. Um, they came out pretty good. This one actually was the most difficult, I would say, and probably my favorite one, just because I don't really like Queen Barb, but I did enjoy doing this one. Um, this one was fun as well, but I really like the poster all together. Usually I would even like take spray, well, I would cover these areas up with like really a small amount of paper and then spray paint these to blend in. I just honestly, um, since this is for my daughter, I did not think that was like necessary. Um, I do, I used to do these for, um, like orders and stuff and if anybody is interested or wanted anything painted for them just let me know because honestly i enjoy doing it and during the quarantine especially i get to have fun but this is the most fun part of the whole thing is getting to show you guys what it looks like and then also getting to show miss audrey what i've been working on are you ready mm -hmm. all right go walk back up a little bit all right this took three days remember mm -hmm. are you excited mm -hmm. one two three this way this 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 took three days yeah because i had to draw all of them when queen barba took she took me the longest amount of time that's why it took three days no oh <laughs> do you like it where's penny whistle i only put one from each singing group oh, oh. Sorry, but do you like it? No, there's two pops. Well, yeah, but Tiny you. Diamond. That's why I put him in the middle because you're it's your favorite, and we're Tiny. waiting for the toy. Tiny Diamond is my name. Do you like it? Mm. All right, be careful with it, okay? <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna put it in your room? <laughs> okay, guys. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. And I will definitely be making shorter videos as well soon. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good and safe day. And I hope you enjoy this.